Now, a story that's gotten really quiet has been everything going on or really everything not going on with tight end Zach Ertz. Now, of course, when he was released a couple of weeks ago from the Cardinals, uh, he was a hot commodity. And I was somebody and a lot of other people were like, hey, bring Zach Ertz to the Baltimore Ravens. Like, why not? And I never expected or even wanted him to be the Baltimore Ravens starting tight end. But it was more so a stay ready so you ain't got to get ready type of thing. And just to have some more quality depth at the tight end position. I felt like it was still Isaiah Likely's job and it should still remain his job whether Zach Ertz was there or not. But I still feel like the Baltimore Ravens could make a strong team even stronger. But we hadn't really heard anything about Zach Ertz, and not only from the Baltimore Ravens, but really from anybody else. We hadn't heard about any visits lined up. We haven't heard about any contract offers. So what is going on with Zach Ertz? Now, we did get an update from the Ravens side of things, the, the way that they, they're viewing things when it comes to Zach Ertz, because this was before the Rams game on Sunday. Somebody asked Josina Anderson, they said, Ertz to Baltimore? And this was her response, a very, very interesting one. So let's listen. She said, my understanding is the priority is giving reps to the tight ends they currently have and continuing those evaluations. If, and she put if in all caps, if there are any glaring issues today, that was for the Rams game, uh, and or maybe the next game too, it may lead to reaching out to Zach Ertz. If. He's not already picked up elsewhere before all that. So uh, with that, what she is basically saying is like, all right, Ravens, they got their tight ends, Isaiah Likely, Charlie Kohler, and they are focusing on them. They're giving all the reps, all the passes, everything to them, seeing how they do. And if they do well, great. We're straight. We're set. We'll leave it at that. But if they're not doing so well, then right, we might have to give Zach Ertz a call. So what I think happened I think Isaiah Likely, I, I, I think he was scrolling through Twitter on Sunday. And he was like, mm, okay, okay, I see that, all right. You know what? I got something for that. Uh, let, 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 let me show these Ravens what I can do. Because as we saw, Isaiah Likely, he did his thing uh, against the Rams this past Sunday. who got that wide open touchdown. And even be, be, besides that, something that I really liked about Isaiah Likely, the touchdown was obviously the best play of the day for him. But... My favorite play from him, it was when he caught a pass. I think he, it might have been a, like maybe a, it was a pass in a flash. It made like two yards, two, two yards, three yards. And the first down marker was ahead of him, like maybe five, six yards ahead of him. So he would have to get some yak. So Isaiah likely caught the ball. It's a defender right there. Isaiah likely, he ain't try to do all the dancing. He ain't try to shake nobody. He just said, oh, straight, straight line ahead. I, I'm getting his first down. He ain't played no games. He just went and got it. And not to say that there would have been anything wrong with him trying to make somebody miss or whatnot, but he was like, no, I'm getting the first down, and that's it, straight up. So I, I just love that play from Isaiah Likely. And he obviously had him a game on Sunday with five catches uh, for 83 yards and, of course, the touchdown. And that 54-yard touchdown catch, that was the highlight of the day. Now, with Isaiah Likely, we, of course, from last year, uh, in preseason, the, we saw the potential there. Isaiah Likely, he was going off. And he, he was going off to the point where I remember we were watching him in preseason. We were like, all right, that's enough. He don't need to play in the preseason no more. And they still played him in the preseason some more, but it, it's all good. Um, but he showed us his potential. But see, the thing with Isaiah Likely and Mark Andrews, we were thinking like, oh, man, we got Mark Andrews and Isaiah Likely. Oh, them tight ends about to go off. And, of course, Mark Andrews, he continued to do his thing like normal. But Isaiah Likely, he just um, it, it seemed like him and Lamar would just struggle to be on the same page. They would be off uh, whether Lamar, he would, when he, whenever he would throw passes to Isaiah Likely, they'd be a little bit off. The timing was off. Um, and Isaiah Likely, sometimes he would just straight up drop them. Uh, or as far as he would be looking to turn up field before he fully caught the ball. What, it, was, it was just a, it was always something. When it came to Lamar Jackson and Isaiah Likely, at least when Mark Andrews was out there. But when Mark Andrews was not out there, uh, in one of the few games that he missed uh, last season, Isaiah Likely, he stepped in and he showed out. Because whenever Mark Andrews was not on the field, that's when Isaiah Likely did his thing. Because it was weird because it seemed like the Baltimore Ravens, they just could not get Isaiah Likely going if Mark Andrews was out there too. And we've seen the same exact thing happen this year as well. Not that it's necessarily a bad thing since, I mean, you got Mark Andrews. He's one of the best tight ends in the league. But 
you want to try to get as many weapons going as you possibly can. And we, and we get it. Not every game is going to be for everybody. And everything depends on the, the, the opportunity, the sequence, the, the weight of the game, the flow of the game and whatnot. But we see with, with Isaiah Likely in 11 games while Mark Andrews was still playing. And we miss Mark Andrews. But in 11 games that Mark Andrews was still playing, Isaiah Likely had nine catches for 89 yards. And again, now, context. He is a backup tight end. He's not a starter. So it's not like, oh, man, these are just such disappointing. No, 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 no. Mark Andrews is the guy. And, again, they still have Zay Flowers. They got Odell Beckham Jr., Rashad Bateman. You got the running backs getting targets, too. Lamar going to get his carries as well. So it's only one football to go around. So with Isaiah Likely numbers, I wasn't expecting him to go off anything like that. But still. So in 11 games, Isaiah Likely had nine catches for 89 yards. But then when Mark Andrews went down, in these last two games alone, he's had nine catches, so he's matched his season total before Mark Andrews went down, but he got 123 yards and a touchdown. So we've seen, I, I say all that to say this because y'all know I'm not a big numbers guy, but with Isaiah Likely, we've seen how him and Lamar, they're getting it now. They, 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 they're getting it now. They, they, they really are starting to click a lot more. They starting to be on the same page a lot more. And, oh, that just makes such a big difference. Such a big difference. Because we know Lamar, well, if he's on the same page with you, oh, you're going to get some opportunities for sure. And even if he's not on the same page with you, like Lamar has, um, he, he's really grown as a quarterback over these past couple of years. Because something that we talked about, we talked about it throughout different points of the, of, of the season this year, but certainly in this last game against the Rams, I, I, one thing I, I really love about what Lamar Jackson's been doing this year, a lot of different things. Now, one, and we've seen it over the past couple of games for sure, uh, one is throwing the ball away. Throwing the ball away and just getting that ball out of his hands, not holding on to it for too long, and just li living to play another down. We've been loving that from Lamar Jackson, especially over these past couple of games, because we saw in some previous games where he would hold that ball, hold, 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 but he wouldn't throw it away. And then it could be a sack, it could be a fumble, it could be something. But anyway... Um, but as far as trust, as far as trust, we've seen it with Lamar Jackson to where he, if he throws a pass to a receiver, whether they drop it or whether they run the wrong route, uh, whether they do something, whether they mess up on their end, if he throws the ball to the receiver and they mess up on their end, then he's not like, all right, you know what? I ain't going to them anymore. Nope. I'm, I ain't doing it no more. No, he'll keep going back to them. And that's big. That says a lot. So with Isaiah Likely, we, we have seen that plenty of times, definitely last year and sometimes even this year too, to where he would throw it to Isaiah Likely, and they just would not get it. But I'm glad that they keep going back. And, I mean, obviously they ain't got no choice but to go back now with Mark Andrews being out, at least for now. We'll see if miracles happen. But anyway, um, with him and Isaiah Likely, them being on the same page, it's just made such a, a huge difference, and it's been a great positive amazing thing to see because it's great I, I i love it because it's just another weapon for the baltimore ravens a another person that can make a big impact on this offense another person that can help out on this team another person that can help these baltimore ravens get to where they need to go that being a super bowl team keep it clean i love y'all so much hey it's gonna be a crazy ride these next two months man it really is, so I hope you're all ready for it. Buckle in, because it's about to get wild. But in order to be buckled in all the way, I need to make sure that y'all stay updated. So for more updates like these, for questions from subscribe, for everything that we do on here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on, and please leave a like on the video because it goes a long way. It really does. I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all. Isaiah Likely, keep doing what you've been doing, baby, because we love it.